good afternoon everyone lopomudra hospitals our tagline is trust is life because without trust nothing will happen in any field uh, anywhere in the india or globe so we are a mid segment branded chain of hospitals uh, with equipped with all kind of facilities and uh, we basically uh, concentrate on a smart personalized care where patient can able to get all quality care in a affordable or pocket friendly manner next santosh so what are the challenges currently the large population is facing in india uh, there are a lot of hospitals available who are not not having a, that kind of trust in a local nursing home there are a lot of patients uh, traveling from periphery to center uh, of the city and most of doctors uh, considering almost around 70% doctors are settled in urban areas where the population of 70% population is semi urban and rural area in india so these are the key challenges where they are not people are not able to get the good quality care uh, health Uh, there is no accountability that is uh, there are a lot of lo uh, lack of awareness and uh, limited uh, limited access to the facility or good kind of hospital there is no big corporate healthcare services in tier 2 and uh, tier 3 cities and the lack of quality standards also that's why there are a lot of gaps uh, skill gaps in that periphery or say, uh, semi urban areas so that's how these challenges are the big uh, problem currently we wanted to sort out so almost a large number of populations in semi urban and rural area uh, it's not getting a good kind of uh, healthcare around uh, only 11% of primary and sub centers are well standard and well equipped uh, so they are capable to give the services so these are the biggest problem almost there are huge a uh, gap between need and fit so we wanted to tack uh, to correct this uh, need and fit through uh, lopomudra next so uh, sub optimal performance of mid tier nursing home uh, friends just uh, maria sir told there are a lot of corporate uh, chain of hospitals uh, like apollo and uh, manipal max uh, and a lot of other brands are available mostly at the center of city or uh, in a big city where there are a lot of mid tier nursing homes uh, they are unorganized or fragmented or small nursing homes available at a periphery like a taluka place or district or periphery or suburban area of cities where we need to concentrate and solve their problems like lot of hospital is not uh, their revenue is very less they can't handle complex cases because they don't have good kind of infrastructure uh, the they missed a potential patient and mostly this nursing home are a single or double specialty and uh, lots of nursing home is non availability of standard equipment instrument and infra infrastructure and lot of hospitals who are available in the area which are small and mid segment they are non availability of cashless facility they don't have a good it infrastructure so our focus area uh, or targeted area of to upgrade this mid and uh, small uh, segment where we wanted to uh, upgrade this facility like for example all these problems how how we are going to change or how we are going to tackle these problems so I, the basic thing is that if somebody is having hospital we want doctor to be a doctor we don't want doctor should concentrate uh, other things apart from their uh, regular clinical things and uh, the patients are unable to get timely quality, quality care and they they are not able to get immediate care anywhere in the small setup so we wanted to change that we wanted to empower a deep doctor patient relationship build a confidence and information of lopomudra healthcare environment we leverage the real time data for we wanted to keep all real time data everywhere to available to get all the facility on time to provide full spectrum care wellness of for optimal results we wanted to give a good kind of care leverage your preferred network for integrated care and optimal outcomes high performance specialist network we want to plan specific wellness solution pharmacy benefit management and treatment fulfillment hospital and surgery centers to upgrade the things and we wanted to do lots of thing to change this problem so uh, this is the uh, slide where we 
are going to tell who, whichever the hospital is currently working. So how we are going to work uh, these current small and medium uh, medium sized hospitals with us? We 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 tie with them. Uh, running hospital or sometimes the close hospitals. We upgrade their infrastructures. We upgrade their uh, frontline staff. We upgrade their SOPs, manuals, technology. We wanted to put a train manpower with them, and we we wanted to run the operations and get profit and share it uh, to both of them. What are the USPs of Lopo Mudra? Where just now i sp uh, spoke on the what what we wanted to do what are the infrastructure like we wanted to upgrade all infrastructure like it infrastructure lots of small and mid segment hospital is not using uh, it or hs we have our own hospital infrastructure system where we can able to avoid all uh, man made error or manual error and we wanted like what are the solutions currently we have we we ex tie up the existing hospital and upgrade their infrastructure. If you are asking about uh, upgrade the infrastructure, so we first upgrade their non-available facility, which are the non-available there, like lots of hospital is having single or double specialty. We upgrade the facility. We, we can able to keep available all medical equipment and instrument which are essential for that area. We creating the network of ambulance services, which will help to get the patient immediately in the hospital. We also upgrade the IT system, which is very, very essential nowadays. And we wanted to create a network of HIS system where we, our goal is to create all telemedicine, paperless hospital. And we also rebrand your hospital, the mid-size hospital to get more patients and more revenue. And the basic thing is that we also want a cashless insurance facility there. And simultaneously for staff and all other things, whatever the staff we have, we need more staff. We train the technical staff, non-technical staff, and we, we provide specially super specialist services and we run the services. And also we wanted to upgrade that facility as accredited facility like NABA, JCI, and introduce of advanced clinical care, like a more surgical things, or critical things, and a lot of diagnostic related things. And basic thing is that we wanted to provide the paperless hospital network. So currently, uh, which we will discuss, which currently we have uh, almost around four locations, four uh, centers, more than 75 beds, and uh, this is our journey, uh, uh, journey. And we are proud to tell we have more than 200 clinical people who are uh, helping us to upgrade this facility and more than 50 full-time clinicians who are working with us and they are upgrading this facility individually, each and every uh, subject to upgrade the facility and to serve more. So with this all expansion and upgradation, what are the, our plan? Like that it's okay, we are upgrading the facility, we are starting the hospital, we are giving good kind of treatment, but simultaneously we need to expand geographically, we need to establish own hospital in India and across the globe. Apart from that, we wanted to scale up the people who wanted a job, we wanted to start a, a Skill India program like lab technician, x-ray technician, OT technician program on that nearby centers to upgrade the facility and to provide the jobs also there itself at their place only, their locations, to get more job in their hometown. And like currently, if so many hospital is having single or double specialty, so with our brand, we wanted to provide all kind of super specialty services like a gastroenterology, surgical, medical, IVF specialty, which is very, very demanding branch, neurosurgery, spine surgery, uh, plastic surgery, uh, cardiology, cardiovascular surgery. There are a lot of need of oncology, oncosurgery, uh, it's uh, endocrinology, rheumatology, nephrology, and dialysis, which is very, very super specialty brand. And uh, most of broad, uh, broad specialty, general specialty brands like a general medicine, general surgery, ENT, psychiatry, ortho, these services, wherever we need, whatever the need of that hospital or need of that area, we wanted to upgrade these kind of services there itself in their area or that facility. Next. So what are the values uh, to work together? Like what are the things a hospital owner will get and what are the things the customer or patient will get through us? So hospital owner, 
or whoever wanted to invest in hospital want to start hospital or whoever is having hospital what they will get through us so they will get the higher occupancy level they will get the higher fixed revenue and more revenue they will get availability of multi and super specialty under one umbrella they will get the good brand name with upgraded infrastructure and they don't need to worry about day to day operation and they are also getting the better quality with the healthcare accreditation like nbh nbl and etc and apart from that uh, the customer customer will get our main aim to get the give the personalized care we wanted to give a pocket friendly uh, services and uh, we also i told you paperless hospital this is a need of uh, this time and we need to give all services under one umbrella good doctor good doctor quality doctors all super specialist specialist and the basic thing which i told you we wanted to treat patients in a golden hour we need to treat the patients in first two to four hour to save their life and uh, obviously they can able to get the uh, cashless facility nearby their home and the, they are getting a trustworthy brand where we can able to serve each and every people of this country why choose us why why everyone uh, whoever wanted to start why they wanted to choose us so we have a ability to offer affordable prices which i told you the pocket friendly manner with remaining that business is profitable we are giving a uh, providing a high quality treatment which is available in all corporate hospital but we wanted to maintain that same same high quality treatment in a mid segment or small hospital to treat on a, that same quality we have a ability to attract quality healthcare professionals in the semi urban and rural area because i told just now we have more than 200 healthcare professional with us more than 50 full time consultant and all specialists with us and that we have ability to upgrade the hospital and clinics in a rural and semi urban area of this country we wanted to upgrade this small small setups to provide multi and super specialty to get good kind of services nearby uh, your home and we always we have our hr system we use a uh, technology to uh, quickly uh, scale up operations and all maintaining all digital records so there is no man made error or there is no any problem from owner side or from customer side these are the things <clears throat> these are the total addressable market just friends just see ki around 26% of government hospital is getting 60% uh, patients and around 75% of private hospital getting only 40% of population why this is happening because there is a private hospitals are available but mostly in a semi urban and rural area or periphery they are not uh, able to cater to um, good kind of they are not able to give the good kind of services multi specialty uh, services and they are not well equipped uh, well uh, infrastructure cashless they don't have good kind of doctors multi specialty and specialty services that's why people are trying to go into government hospital so we need to concentrate to upgrade the small small medium segment private hospital to cater this all kind of population and just think in uh, india we are getting uh, less than one doctor for thousand uh, populations this is a very bad scenario actually we need to concentrate on this problem to uh, sort out the issues and to give uh, the good kind of services all part of uh, india actually the hospital industry is expected to reach around 132 billion by uh, end of this 22 uh, 23 uh, of this year in uh, 2017 it's around 61 billion so the growth rate is almost around 16 to 70% why everyone want now is the right time to enter the market yes 100% this is the right time to enter market large number of population of the country in a semi urban and rural uh, area of population lacking the proper primary healthcare facility which we just now discussed there is a lot of malpractice is going on a periphery area we need to correct it unmet demand uh, in across different tiers of cities so we need to correct that 50% of population because i lost my father i know 50% of population don't get attention before their death this is very bad thing large percentage of population is likely to travel from periphery to center of the city to get the treatment still 
lot of uh, people traveling from here and there and they are losing their uh, life indian indian healthcare infrastructure gap remains substantial only 12 beds per thousand population this is we need to concentrate and we need to change this problem and the occupancy level at most hospital in a tier 2 and tier 3 city is less than 70 75% so we need to concentrate on this so how we are going through a marketing strategy we are going through digital uh, area and offline marketing also through digital marketing is most common uh, social media marketing digital platform like a uh, most common nowadays everyone is using practo just dial we also uh, are using email marketing sms marketing search engine optimization through website and all this uh, other digital upgrading uh, Uh, upgraded uh, facility and uh, we are also working offline marketing also we usually start all checkup camps health checkup camps on weekly monthly uh, basis type with corporate and industrial uh, good brands to do their wellness center or backup for emergency services we are also started awareness talks in corporate and all societies to tell them what about golden hours what about stroke what about the what what is about the cardiac care and all these things we also selling the personal personal things paper uh, advertisement feedback calls type with insurance provider and network marketing this board uh, lopu mudra is having board of director me dr avdut which uh, uh, maria sir also told i finished my mbbs emergency medicine and uh, management course and having more than 12 year experience i worked uh, with ruby hall clinic jahangir apollo hospital reliance mumbai indians nanavati hospital and my wife is a uh, basically a microbiologist and she finished the mba from i am kolkata she is full fledged now uh, handling all operation and strategy and apart from that i have a excellent Uh, we have an excellent advisory team so meet our advisor uh, we have a uh, all kind of specialists like dr krishan pujari who is having vast experience dr nita munshi is having vast quality and laboratory experience she is advising us and dr mr pratik sharma is a uh, vast experience is based in uk is having lots of experience in strategy and business development dr rebecca is a medical advisor for medical things to operations and all these things all these are people who are in a different different side we have a core medical team uh, dr vishal sandeep dr archana rupali sneha and there are a lot of full time clinicians who are helping this brand to grow and wanted to change the scenario in the society so how we are going to get the revenue basic thing is that sir told there are consultation through consultation through diagnostic facility through uh, imaging like radiology ct x ray and all these things through tmt cardiology services and other services uh, like a procedure like a medical procedure surgical procedure and uh, room rent obviously room rent is there we wanted to upgrade all facility pharmacy is the uh, huge uh, revenue in a healthcare sector and we also want to provide a home care whoever is attached with us to get them uh, immediate care in a golden hour these are the simple revenue things what are our plan expansion plan so now we have a four center near by pune and mumbai and we are expecting and we wanted to expand at least 10 15 branch in this year nearby uh, pune and mumbai and major district of maharashtra but apart from that we are always welcoming the potential area or potential client from all part of india where we can able to uh, expand our business with uh, good health good uh, kind of reach and to provide all services under one umbrella wherever possible this is our expansion plan and the most important thing pan india expansion plan for how how the investor will get so we have a, a basic model like a fico poco and fomo in a fico there is a greenfield model there is a brownfield model model in a fico like uh, fomo this is a fomo model fico fomo and just hold on fomo this is a fomo model if somebody is having a hospital wanted to upgrade it wanted to uh, give to us so uh, work with us so this is the simplest model where we wanted to upgrade their infrastructure and uh, to work together and get that business profitable apart from that we wanted to provide all services under one umbrella and to avoid all headache of that clinicians or that hospital owner 
uh, this, this is a simple thing where we are uh, requesting around 5,000 to 20,000 square foot is our requirement and beds in between 20 to 30, whichever they have. Investments is totally depend on, like this is a, a approximate cost where uh, somebody is having a good kind of infrastructure, they, then they need a less investment and somebody is having a, less uh, infrastructure then we need to upgrade that infrastructure as per their need so we only charge the fees that is 15 percent apart from that that person will get uh, lots of uh, revenue sources which we discuss and we usually uh, think for 15 years uh, models so this is a foco running brownfield hospital for example if somebody is having a hospital wanted to upgrade from a 20 bed to 30 bed somebody is wanted to upgrade from 30 bed to 50 bed, somebody wanted having the capacity to increase from small hospital to big hospital. This is a POCO uh, hospital where uh, there are the two model where if you have a hospital, you can work under this POCO model. If you don't have a hospital, still if you have a building or if you have some uh, infrastructure where you want to start a hospital like a school, hotel or something, then also this model will work there and we will upgrade the uh, things and start the hospital. This is which we are, I just now told Foco model where constructed building uh, you have, but you want to start that area as a hospital. So this is the model where we can able to start the hospital. We first do the due diligence, primary survey, need of that area, and then uh, whatever the need of that area, accordingly we build the hospital and then we share the revenue through this model. So why we want uh, investment because we want to run the capex um, branding uh, working capital and needs to hire lots of people who run this business uh, properly and to upgrade the facility